Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one we have so much to talk about with the recent update to the game which added so many things. I'm going to be showing you a ton of the secret changes that were added into the game in this recent update. Now what do I mean by secret changes? Now I don't mean obvious things like the cube or the brand new rift to go that were added. I'm talking about secret things like changes to tilted towers, dusty divot, changes to the pump shotgun and a possibility of double pump maybe returning in some form and more. So overall, a bunch of crazy things that I don't think a ton of you will know about. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, find it helpful or learn something new, be sure to hit that like button down below. On top of that, comment your favorite place to drop. Since we're talking about a few changes to the map, I want to know which ones are your favorite that you may not want to be changed or want to be changed. For me, though, I think Tomato Temple might just be my new favorite spot. That place is just perfect. <laughs> That's really all I can say. But yeah, guys, without further ado here, let's jump on into it with the first thing I want to go over because we do have quite a a few of these to talk about and this first one has to do with some weapons in the game a lot of these are in different categories like weapon changes changes to the map stuff like that but this first one has to specifically do with the clingers now as you know in the past with the clingers they're actually very good but after this change i'm not actually going to be carrying them anymore for some reason they changed the only thing that made clingers like really effective and that is that they now fall down off of structures once the structure is destroyed so if you don't know what i mean by that here's an example um i should be able to find a clip from one of my previous videos showing this off but as you can see if you stuck two clingers to the side of a wall that somebody was sitting in like they're one by one the first clinger would blow up the wall and then the second one would immediately blow up but do damage to the player because the walls in front of it were destroyed it happened very fast but it was a super good way of doing damage on somebody that was sitting up in a one by one however now as you can see and this is an extreme example i'm throwing my clingers all the way up here towards this ramp and when the first one explodes it actually drops the second one down lower and takes like another second before it explodes. So I mean, it's still kind of effective. If somebody's turtling and you're on top of like the roof, you can throw clingers on top of it and it will just drop the clinger inside, but you can't do the thing where you throw it at the side of the structure and do damage that way. So it's something to keep in mind, guys. I don't think I'll be carrying these anymore because of that. So might as well show you. As for the next one though, this one has to do with tilted towers. We were already in tilted towers, so I have to move on to a uh, to one that has to do with tilted, but this one is a change to the map itself and it has to do with this building right here which we do have to talk about this building was destroyed at the very beginning of season four and guys it has been taking so long for it to be rebuilt but obviously it is being rebuilt so does that mean something because as you can see right here they've added like this new balcony on the inside because you especially notice it since it's way easier to get this chest up in this uh what is it even called it's a lift something like that but yeah they added these balconies they also added like cement to the basement some walls here and there they moved the chest around a little bit in the basement it's now inside that one corner room and i'm sure there's some other small changes to the layout of the structure itself but yeah guys as i said does this mean something coming up because 100 a different building is being built there the old building that used to take its place i'm sure a lot of you guys forgot what it looks like like me but it was a lot smaller it only had like two windows on the front facing the street and like the clock tower whereas this one definitely has like three and does look taller it also has the rounded top so i'm not 100 sure maybe Maybe this will be like another detectives agency like the one we have in retail row maybe that agency is growing and this will be like their headquarters or something like that or like the superhero headquarters it's also possible that they're just going to rebuild a building and that is it but it's fun to speculate about and it is for sure changing and you know what going along those similar lines talking about things that are changing in the game this is one that we've been tracking in the previous changes videos but dusty divot is dusty divot eventually going to get fixed and when i say fixed like either filled in or are the buildings on the side of it going to get fixed and we'll at least have those three buildings back now as you guys might remember in one of my previous changes videos we talked about these trucks right here that were carrying materials and stuff like a ton of pallets toilets and stuff like that moving from the front of dusty divot sort of close to retail row and also people theorize that they might be rebuilding the factories but that's pretty much debunked now because they're moving so far away from where the factories are then they moved over to here to the side of this like mountain hill place and now guys if we go into game we can see that they're moving even closer to dusty divot we can see that they're now super close to the buildings or warehouses near dusty divot now what's odd about this is technically going past the warehouses so what exactly does that mean well it could mean one of two things the first of which like i said earlier is that they're rebuilding all three of the factories and just going to replace the one that got destroyed in the crater and move it over more towards this side
side which would make sense. So pretty much they would be rebuilding all three of the buildings. However, with that theory, you also have to notice that they're really only carrying a ton of pallets, and these warehouses are made of metal. So it's also the case that they could maybe be building another building over here instead of warehouses. And then on top of that, there's also the possibility that they're going to keep driving past Dusty Divot and rebuild something somewhere else, but that is really just speculation. We have no idea where they would go. So right now, I think it's the safe bet to say that something is going to be built in Dusty Divot, judging by how far the trucks have moved. But keeping it going here with the next one, guys, this is a fun one that has to do with playgrounds. So they recently actually added a few little changes to playgrounds that have to do with just like the fun of it and messing around in the mode itself. So unfortunately, they did not add a way to like pick weapons specifically, even though I really hope they add that soon. Please, Epic. But instead, they did add a ton of extra rifts, ATKs, and ramps around the map. So I'll let you guys explore a little bit. I won't show you all of them, but like if you go over to Tilted Towers, you can find a new location for an ATK on top of this hill, and then you can go down it, and there's a ramp going straight into a rift that I'm pretty sure is always in that exact location. So it's kind of fun to mess around with and see how many points you can get. But yeah, on top of that, there are a bunch of rifts and extra ATKs located around the map that can hopefully help you get around even quicker. And then actually on top of it, one other thing I noticed real quick is that they added the flaming hoops into playgrounds because I've completed the challenge, but the flaming hoops still show up. So it's kind of just a fun thing they added that you can jump through them. For some reason, I noticed there's a flaming hoop above the toilet in Flush Factory. And I really don't know how you would get up to that one with an ATK or a shopping cart or something like that. So yeah, just a fun little change to playgrounds. Gotta love that mode. But let's go back to one that has to do with items and stuff, technical things that will help you in the midst of battle and help you actually get better. And this one will just be quick because you may know that Ninja actually talked about it. And that's where I found out about this one as well. But it is a brand new setting that was sneakily added into your uh, settings, obviously. And it is the auto sort consumable setting. So what exactly is this setting? Well, first of all, if you want to turn it on, you simply go over to the little gear or cog, whatever you want to call it, and then actually go over again to the cog. And then you want to scroll all the way down towards the bottom of the control options. As you can see, you can turn on this feature that says auto sort consumables to right. So if you then turn that on, what will happen is when you pick up consumables in game like shields, bandages, stuff like that, it will automatically go to your rightmost slot, which is really honestly super useful. It mainly only affects like the beginning of the game when you're trying to get loot. It just sort of helps it sort it a little bit better by putting those bandages and shields on the far right and your weapons on the left. Like as you can see in this example, it sorts them perfectly and can be really helpful to save you a tiny bit of time in those starting situations where you do need that tiny bit of time. And also it doesn't affect anything if you do have a full inventory, which honestly makes sense. So there you go, guys. There's a helpful little tip. But keeping it going here with one of the most important changes of this video. Guys, prepare yourselves, all right? Fortnite will never be the same after you hear this one right here. It is official that the pick squeak pickaxe now makes sounds on every single hit. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. It's not a crazy change, but for those of you who were interested in this pickaxe, it is a pretty expensive pickaxe. You would hope it has something unique like that, but uh, yeah, it now makes that like toy sound when you hit stuff with it. It basically sounds like a dog squeaky toy. It makes that like high pitched sound. And I don't know, maybe that's important to you when you're buying pickaxes. It might change your mind. Maybe you'll now be interested in it. I don't really know. But actually moving on here, guys, to a legit really big change, or at least more specifically one change that could point towards some huge changes coming to the future of shotguns. You and me both know that shotguns have been a little bit not too great lately. They've been nerfing them a ton, pushing SMGs a lot, and it's getting better lately, they're starting to rebalance them out. And this is another sign of shotguns getting to be back to a point where they are more useful. So first of all, what is the change that they added right now before we get into the possible changes coming up? Well, this one actually has to do with the pump shotgun. Specifically, the way that Epic Games put it in like the details of it is that the pump shotgun equip time has been shortened from 0.96 seconds to 0.88 seconds, which doesn't sound crazy, guys, I know. But once you actually like go into game and start messing around with it and specifically equip time is when you have another weapon and you want to switch to your pump shotgun. It's that time it takes to switch before you can fire. But again, if you go into game and just mess around with it, it does feel better. It feels faster and it should feel faster. And if you like to do the edit plays, as you can see, it just feels a little bit better. And even on top of that, the double barrel shotgun also got a buff that reduced the spread reduction by 
15% when you are crouched, which actually is pretty good. That gun is pretty inaccurate unless you're like right up next to somebody. But yeah, what does that then mean for like the possibility of maybe double pump coming back? I just want to say that it is possible in a state of development post that Epic Games made. They did say that they're evaluating shotguns quite a bit. Like right now they said they're evaluating shotgun equip time and they'll be improving the pump shotgun so it's a bit quicker to bring up. I think that's kind of what happened already, but they then go on to say that we'll be evaluating the other shotguns moving forward, which does just mean overall that I would expect shotguns to get some very big changes coming up. And like this could be even more useful if you want to switch from one shotgun to another maybe. We're not exactly sure, but it is clear they're going to make changes going forward. So it's not impossible that some form of double pump or double shotgun could come back. But yeah, guys, moving on to a couple of more for this video. This one, almost all of you know, but for those of you who don't, Thank the bus driver is a brand new feature in the game. Like, come on, guys. Isn't this just amazing? Epic Games is honestly on top of the memes. I gotta give them credit where credit is due. But in case you guys were unaware how to do the thank the bus driver thing, simply all you have to do is press your emote button before you jump out and start skydiving. It's that simple, but it's just a funny little addition. And in case you didn't know, that's how you do it. But then for the final thing I want to go over in this video, this is more specific for people that play on controllers. But if you haven't noticed for some reason or felt your game just be completely off, um, Epic Games accidentally changed sensitivity settings. Like 100% they did for sure change the aim down sight sensitivity and the scoped in sensitivity. So if you've been missing shots, that's most likely why. You want to go in and turn that down a little bit so that it's more like what you're used to. But yeah, that did change, which is kind of frustrating. On top of that, they also added um better dead zone for Xbox controllers, which will take a little bit to get used to. That's sort of like how sensitive your thumbstick is. And that is a good change overall. And I think we'll start to like it more once we get used to it. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this coming up in the near future. On top of that, be sure to check out some of my previous videos, such as on the left, going through a bunch of leaked things coming into the game soon. And then on the right, the week seven challenges guide. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.